So we go again. <laughs> Manchester City have had their second draw of the day and apparently this one is going to stand. City now play in the Champions League Sporting Lisbon. If you're just tuning in, you've got back from work and you've got no idea what's going on, I'll quickly summarise for you. Manchester City today were early, earlier involved in a Champions League draw, but that got cancelled because they fucked up basically and tried to draw United out uh, against Villarreal and realised they couldn't do that and then they forgot to put United in the pot with the left us go Madrid draw and the, 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 the. essentially it all got very convoluted so they had to do the draw again which is probably the right call if we're being honest um, and it's come out alright for City we got Sport in Lisbon we did get Villarreal and now we got Sport in Lisbon instead so I'm going to dive into that and look at this draw in a little bit more detail and try and get our head around what this means for Manchester City quickly though I want to say a very big thank you to Football Prizes they are working with me at the moment they've got a fantastic prize currently available over on their website that ends today at half seven you can enter only about 80 tickets have been sold so far so you've got a very good chance of winning if you enter there's a Kevin De Bruyne signed and framed Manchester City shirt in first place and he's also a second and third prize as well signed Americ Laporte and Raheem Sterling montages which has got all the photos signed by the players um Fantastic, fantastic stuff. Go and enter. It's alongside me right now on screen. You can win uh, either Kevin De Bruyne uh, signed or frame shirt or those other signed uh, Sterling and Laporte memorabilia, which would be absolutely lovely as well. Good luck if you do enter. Links in the description below, of course. So let's get on to this draw. I'll read the draw out in full. RB Salzburg got Bayern Munich. They'll be devastated <laughs> for that redraw. Uh, City, of course, got Lisbon. Benfica versus Ajax. Chelsea versus Lille, which is the exact same draw in the first place. Literally a repeat of what we already know there. Atletico Madrid versus Man United. You've got to laugh at Madrid going, uh, not happy about this. So they get an easier draw. They got Man United this time. <laughs> I think it was Bayern they had previously, wasn't it? Um, easier draw for them, United in theory. Villarreal this time, they went from Manchester City and got Juventus. Um, they'll probably prefer that if we're being honest. They probably will prefer that. It's probably a slightly better draw for them, but it is because we're a better side than Juventus. And then Inter versus Liverpool. Liverpool have got a harder draw there, definitely, than the previous round. I can't remember who they've got now, but it was definitely a harder draw. Um, who did they get? I've forgotten. I feel like I want to say Salzburg or something like that, but I can't remember. But I know this is a harder, harder draw. Eddie Dzeko, fingers crossed, he does the business. And then PSG, instead of getting United, have now got Real Madrid. Be careful what you wish for sometimes, isn't it? Real Madrid actually wanted to keep their Benfica draw, apparently, but now they've got... Uh, was it Benfica they had? But now they've got PSG instead. So that'll be fun. Um, I would argue, actually, PSG have got a harder draw now than United, and United have got a harder draw now than PSG. For them, they've got Atletico Madrid, I think, will give them more of a tougher time. But Sporting Lisbon, what do we know? <laughs> One thing I do know about them is they hate being called Sporting Lisbon. I'm sorry, Sporting fans. It changed a while back, so they're just Sporting uh, CP now, not Sporting Lisbon anymore. Um, uh, they're based in Lisbon, but they hate being called that. Either way, their manager um, has done pretty well for them this season. They're currently unbeaten alongside Porto. It's head-for-head head over in the Primera Liga at the moment. Both teams have played 14 games. Both have won 12 and drawn 2 and lost 0. Both on 38 points. But only goal difference separates Porto and Sporting. Imagine being 14 games into the season, being unbeaten, winning 12 and still being second. That is how tough it is over currently in the Primera Liga. And uh, brought Benfica having a good season as well, winning 11 out of 4 and still four points behind off the pace currently. But I'd be lying if I said I knew an awful lot about Sporting currently other than the fact that they're doing pretty well over there. And other than the fact that they've got Pedro Porro as well, a Manchester City player, of course. Um, he's currently uh, on loan from us. I think they've got a right to buy for like 8 million. I did hear a rumour that we've got a right to buy back then for around 20 million or something like that. I don't know if you can even play in this game. I don't know, but what I do know is that he's a really good player, really highly rated, and is currently broken to the Spanish setup. Uh, a player that I would actually like at Manchester City, I would like us for us to manoeuvre it to get him back at City to be the back or right back, because there's an argument to say that we don't really need a left back anymore with Zinchenko and Cancelo. And given the fact that the squad placement was a fullback short because of Mendy, maybe it's a right back we need instead. So I would argue that I would love to have him back because he seems like a really intelligent, highly attacking player with lots of versatility to his game, and he's been a big part of sporting success. Um, let me look at their Champions League group uh, and how they came through it um, uh, let me have a look I don't actually know how they got through their group uh, they were in the same group as Ajax oh yeah they knocked Dortmund out actually Dortmund and Besiktas Besiktas as well went out as well nine points um uh, Dortmund and nine points as well I'm not sure if head to head separated them there goal difference was definitely in Sporting's favour but I don't I can't remember what happened there but either way 
Ajax won all six of their games in that group stage, uh, which is not particularly impressive for Sporting. Obviously, it means they lost twice to Ajax there. Um, but it means they are beatable. Ajax are a very good football inside, but Manchester City should really be beating these, let's be honest. It's a beautiful place, by the way. I don't do many away days, but I'm considering that, mainly because I know it's cheap to get to Lisbon, and it's a beautiful place. It's one of my favourite places in the world. Maybe I can try and talk Nicola into it. Nicola, City are playing Sporting Lisbon. Can we go back to Lisbon? She said yes aggressively. I don't know if we'll be able to afford it or not, but there we go, I'm going to try. <laughs> um, but either way, I would love it. I asked on Twitter what to, to know about them because I don't know much about him. I have heard of Gonzalez, for what it's worth. Gonzalez, Pedro Gonzalez, has kind of taken over the, the Bruno Fernandes mantra uh, and he's basically been the like, false nine. And he's a really good player, a really good player, apparently. Um, they, they're obviously a very good side. They've got Sarabia on loan as well from PSG. Uh, a lot of people say it's probably a similar level of difficulty of the Villarreal game, which I think is probably fair. Um, they've got Paulina as well, who's a good player. But I'm expecting expecting the likes of Bernardo, Ruben and Cancelo. Um, Edison as well, the ex-Benfica boys. They've got that link, of course. Um, the home of their local rivals. That should be enough to get these boys motivated. And I'm sure it will be. And of course, as well, we'll play probably in some nice weather over there in Portugal. One of my favourite places in the world, Portugal. I absolutely love that place. Based off one trip to Lisbon. Um, I think the people are fantastic. It's a gorgeous place. I'm sure they'll be up for it, man. Um, apparently, Amarim, their manager, is a really good manager as well. And they're an organised team. Of course, um, yeah, we did play him like 10 years ago in the UEFA Cup. I remember that as well. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see how this goes down. I don't really suspect we'll have too much of a challenge here. I mean, not famous last words or anything like that. But I was a little bit nervous that we'd get like Atletico or something like that or Inter when they did the redraw. But I can't complain. They're a good side sporting clearly. But we are a better side and we shouldn't really be fearing anyone in this. And it's nice to see as well that PSG or Real Madrid are going out. Atletico or United are going out. Of course, there's some big games there. And even Liverpool now, Inter... They'll, they'll beat Inter, but it's not a given anymore. It's not a given anymore. Uh, so we'll have to see. Um, and one thing I don't really agree with, by the way, is this whole, like, you can't really play uh, another team from the same country in the last 16. That's literally entirely for money reasons. I don't see the point. It confuses the whole draw thing. Simplify it. I don't give a shit if you get someone in the last 16 or the semi-finals. personally. That's how I see it, but maybe I'm talking nonsense there. And I'm holding the mic, by the way, because the sound's been a bit naff recently. Apologies for that. It's been naff because the ceilings in this house... Um, they're really tall, which means they echo an awful lot. Uh, so as soon as I get the, the my temporary office set up upstairs, which should be the end of this week because I'm decorating it and all that kind of stuff and furniture's arriving, then the sound will be a lot better. So also, do you like our tree, by the way? He's huge. Absolutely love him. But for now, guys, do let me know down in the comments what you make of this draw. I think this is a pretty good draw for Manchester City. I don't think it's a great draw for a lot of our rivals. Um, now Bayern are going to go through there. Bayern will beat Salzburg, of course. City will beat Lisbon, Sporting Lisbon, in my personal opinion. Um, Benfica Ajax Ajax will win that Chelsea will beat Lille um, I think Atletico will beat United personally Juve will probably beat Villarreal though Villarreal have got a chance there I reckon Liverpool will beat Inter then I would say PS Real Madrid might beat PSG actually I think they're a little bit more organised at this level potentially we'll see maybe Messi maybe Messi will be the, have enough to get PSG through there but I don't ultimately care because all I know is that I want City to go through. The ties, by the way, are mid-February and mid-March, so that'll be fun. Obviously, City ending that tie at home at the Etihad, which is good. Hopefully, we can get the job done there. So, this is my second video of the day, and also, I might do a match preview tomorrow. I might do an early live stream tomorrow morning, actually, and just kind of do it that way, the preview, because I've done a lot of videos today, and I've got painting to do on this house. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, big love to all of you. Thank you as well to my uh, Patreon producer, Scott Denemy, of course. And don't forget to go and check out the, the Football Prizes competition over there um, it be, mean a lot it's a fantastic competition good luck if you win it as well get me to 60k I'm only like 700 off as well so hit that subscribe button let's get there by the end of this year it'd be wonderful to get there for now though don't forget to drop a like on this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below take two done in a bit